Oh, it's a video. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in the drainage ditch. Oh, 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 what to keep. Oh, 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 don't you know? Uh oh, don't you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good morning. It's me, Calliope Pettis, out for a walk in Ahwatukee, Arizona, a little suburb south of Phoenix. There's a plane flying overhead. There's a plane and it's decreasing in pitch. Last time I did a video like this it was four years ago in Montevallo, Alabama. And holy moly, have I shaken my life up since then. The whole video was about getting outside of your comfort zone and in such a way that you expand your comfort zone so that in life and in this world, you are open to all of the experiences that life has in store for you. Holy moly. January 22 was my first time to Miami, Florida. And what I realized when I was there was that maybe my dreams were too small. Maybe all the things I thought I had in store for myself that I was wanting, that I was desiring, those were just steps along the path. And the grandness of what this life is bound to become still hasn't revealed itself to me in full, but I'm walking more confidently forward than I ever have in my life. And I... Oh, I owe that to this, this sense of adventure that I have and that I've been able to pursue the past four years. I owe it to the people who have encouraged me to take the steps that I need to take. I owe it to the people who didn't suggest I should get right with society, get a nine to five, get a husband, get a house, have kids. I owe it to all of the artists and the people who've gone before me. I owe it to my family. God, I love my family. I've got family all over the country and they're an enormous part of the reason why I've been able to do so much traveling. This outward adventure that I've been on for the past three years shaped up to be something so beautiful. I've met some of the most incredible people on the road and it's given me hope. I'm trying to speak in the key of all these lawn machines. I guess all I have for you today is gratitude. And that's a lot. I got a lot of gratitude. And beauty. Because what does beauty really mean? You know, I woke up, I put some bobby pins in my hair, some cute little earrings on, and I was like, well, I guess I'm beautiful enough for this video. Beauty has nothing to do with the clothes you wear, or your skincare routine, or your lip injections, your boob job, or your Ralph Lauren polo shirt or the car you drive, or the purse you carry. Beauty has everything to do with your perspective of the world. <laughs> I think that's why I like older people. I think they know that already. I used to feel like there was something wrong with me because the majority of my friends are much older than I am. But it's because they have this sense of peace in their life. They have this knowing that everything's going to be okay. Everything they've been through shaped them into who they are today. We're going to hike up that mountain. We're going to visit some swallow. 
cactuses. Look at that beautiful Arizona cactus. Wow. Oh God, I never thought I would be able to see or feel or experience the beauty of the desert. It's just like, it's dry and everything is reddish and brownish and greenish. <laughs> but back to older, older folks and the sense of peace and beauty and wisdom that they have about them. I know because a lot of older women have told me, like, oh, well, enjoy, enjoy when you're young. In about 20 more years, you're going to be invisible to the world. And I just, I just like to get there and see. I'm not rushing it by any means, but I think their idea of beauty comes from something that's not real. What's real? It's hard to tell. It has become increasingly hard to tell what's real in the world. The past 10 to 15 years, past five years especially. And I know this is an election year, so everyone's gonna have an opinion. And everyone who doesn't share that opinion is gonna be wrong. Well, get over it. Open your eyes and open your ears because the experiences we have in life the families we were born into, the regions we were born into, have everything to do with shaping our perspective. And I believe to have a more beautiful perspective, it is important to open your eyes to everything. Open your heart to everyone. I'm not saying don't have boundaries. Protect yourself. But don't run away from every difficult conversation or every difficult thing that you have to do. I think this clarity and this confidence in my life as of late has come from the fact that I'm not afraid to hike up mountains. <laughs> you know, from learning, from knowing what's mine to keep and what's mine to give away. And so the world of Calliope Pettis the girl who's been traveling the country, writing songs, sitting still, studying yoga. That's my soul currency, baby. That's what I do to stay sane, to have the energy to serve. And that service is with what I, what I call Miss Calliope. So... In the last video, I watched it back before I filmed this one, I knew that creating a show and having lots of audience participation was something that was really important to me, something I was called to do, and that has really come to fruition the past, the past year in the form of a show called From the Soil to the Stars. Miss Calliope's gonna be touring dozens of libraries this summer and summer camp programs with this show. And the tagline to the whole show is I respect myself, I respect my neighbor, I respect the planet, and I'm here to make a difference. And I really believe that. It takes a lot of courage to make a difference, to put yourself out there. And it takes a lot of courage because you're bound to be misunderstood. Somebody's gonna misunderstand you, but we don't do it for those people. We do it for the soul that resides inside of us. Because we know that if we don't do it, we're going to live a life of depression, of overconsumption, of numbing. And I don't want that. I want this. I want a bright sunny day on top of a mountain in the southwest. I want a rainy, gloomy day in the Pacific Northwest. I want it all. We're humans. What else are we here doing but experiencing it all? And, you know, there's those highs and there's those lows. But I don't think life has to be beautiful. It has to be extreme to be beautiful. I think it just has to be, has to be honest. It has to be true. And it's really hard to know what is true these days. But the more willing 
you are to sit still and look at challenging things in others and in yourself. You'll see that it's all part of the plan, baby. This has been a rambling